Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to this part nine of learning Linux command line for beginners. In the previous session, I mentioned that we'll be doing something totally different. So this session is just going to be a bit of mindless fun. In the world of Linux, we have something called MOTD. And no, before you say it, it is not match of the day. It stands for message of the day. It's something that's rarely used today unless you use Linux in the workplace. So what is it? Well, let me first give you a quick demo. Um, if I were to connect to this computer from another computer, I would connect using something called SSH, which stands for Secure Socket Shell. And when you do connect to another computer on the network via SSH, you will end up getting whatever the message of the day is from that computer. Now, I don't want to confuse you too much. Um, naturally, when we open our terminal on our Linux machine, like you can see here, there is no message of the day. But if we were to, let's say, connect to ourselves using SSH, and I can do this by going SSH and then a space and then the username of the computer. So this one is me, Jason, and the IP address of this computer. And I already know the IP address of this computer because I looked it up earlier. But just to backtrack, let me show you how I found the IP address of this computer. If I type IF config and press enter, we can see here there is my IP address 192.168.1.197. Another way to show the IP address is to use a command that says IP address show and that also shows me 192.168.1.197 anyway let's clear the mess off this screen and to SSH onto myself which is something you're not really going to do but this is just giving you a demonstration of how somebody else would see the message of the day by connecting to your computer via SSH so SSH and then the username and then the at symbol and then the IP address of the machine that you're going to connect to. It will then prompt you for the password for the machine that you're going to connect to. So put that in and then it will give you its message of the day. And we can see here that we have the information that says last login Saturday, May the 9th, 1109 53 2020 from ourselves. So generally in the workplace, the MOTD would be a place to see important information for whoever is logging into that system. It might be uh, just text telling somebody to make sure that they back up the certain file or folder before they exit or telling people not to tamper with certain files or something like that. So it is a good information point. And if you're interested, it gets all of its information from files that are stored in the update-motdd folder under the etc folder. So let me show you. So if I cd into etc update-motd and we do an ls, we can see that we have various files here that are depicted by a number at the beginning and these numbers are generally in order of where the messages start in the message of the day. Anyway, let's jump back a directory and let's make our own addition to the MOTD and for this I am going to create a file called MOTD and stick it under the etc directory. So the first thing I need to do is do this as a root user because I cannot create a file and write to it in the etc directory unless I am a super user or a root user and I can do this by typing sudo which a lot of the time I don't know why I've got it in my head of uh, super user do and then I can just carry out the normal commands that I want to carry out so I'm going to use the text editor nano and obviously the file I'm going to call it is just MOTD and I'm going to press enter it will prompt me for my credentials 
and then we're open in a blank MOTD file ready to edit. So for an example, let's uh, let's put a load of hashes in there. And maybe say hello great one and we'll finish it off with some hashes just to make it stand out a bit better if I press control and X now and say yes to save and come out now we need to log off of our SSH session so that we can test out to see if our message of the day has changed and there are a couple of ways that we can log out we can either type exit and then return or I can press control and D and it shows me that my connection to 192.168.1.197 is closed so let's use the up arrow to SSH in once again and put in our password and we can see now we have the additional information hello great one in our message of the day so it's as simple as that really um, let's do something a bit more fun let us go and open a web browser and I'm going to search for ASCII art generator and this first one in the list that I've been to before text to ASCII art generator so this is quite a nifty tool one of many there's many on the, on the internet to find but in this box here if I type in the name that I want to display in different ASCII fonts uh, so let's let's choose Dell Mint as the name, which is the name of this computer. And if I say test all, it gives me lots of different examples of fonts that I could use. So let's scroll down a bit. I particularly like the one called Bloody, which is there it is. And I can click select and copy. And let's close this window down now let's go back in to our ETC and we'll bring up the sudo nano MOTD again so there's the one that we created before so let's leave what's currently there but this time I'm just underneath here I'm going to drop in that font and I'll press control and X and say yes to save and come out and we'll control D to quit that SSH session again and we'll then go back into it so now we can see we have that really nice looking font included in our message of the day so just to reiterate this is what somebody would see from their computer if they were SSHing into this computer now we can do it around the other way uh, there is a, another Linux computer that I have on my network so let's SSH to it so remember SSH the user account of the user of that machine and then the IP address and the IP address is 179 that I want to connect to and I'll put in my password and we can see here we've got a different message of the day on the computer that I've connected to it's actually a, an Ubuntu computer uh, it shows me the um, the version it shows me various websites that could be handy it tells me how many packages can be updated um, and it also tells me uh, that it's supported up until April 2023 and again it shows the last login and from what computer is logged in so this gives more information than my current Dell Mint computer and again we can do the same with this I could go into ETC and again we can create an MOTD file so there's our blank MOTD and bear in mind we are now connected onto the other computer and if I bring up this website again uh, what's this computer called I think it's I called this one atomic so again we could scroll down uh, 
and let's choose that one again and right click and paste control and X and say yes to save come out of it and we'll control D to log out and we can see our connection to the 179 computer is now closed so let's reconnect to that computer and then up pops the information and our extra cool looking font of the computer name now there are many things that you could do with MOTD you might want to show how much disk space is left you might want it to show what the the weather forecast is um, by all means have a look on the internet Google it there are so many things you can do with MOTD it is quite a handy tool but as I said a lot of home users wouldn't really use it so much it was generally used for that important information for those in an administrative role working with Linux in the workplace. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.